Alright guys, Captain Freeze here bringing a DCO commentary about Game Update 22. Game Update 22 will be released in GMT Europe, whatever you want to call it, at 2pm, which for Americans etc is around 6am, I think. Yeah, 6am, that's about right. So anyway, Game Update 22 is nothing massive little things that might make a difference and might not. But basically, it's like your normal arena combat general things that have been changed. For example, arena ace chemicals referee will no longer become confused. I don't really do ace chemicals so I don't know what that means. Um, combat, the staff has been... <laughs> the description of the staff has been corrected for the launching roundhouse to match the number of attacks needed to perform it. So there must have been some sort of mistake with how many buttons you have to press. There has been a bug related to combat timing that will ensure attacks and the abilities last to the appropriate amount of time. So it's like that's basically sticky bomb and stuff when you chuck it or something it will wait and then explode. I think that's what it means anyway. The, there's some economy changes which are found in tier 1 to tier 4 trash mobs and Bosch drops, grey items, sales values and end game daily missions. And also vault cash drops, they've all been changed. So I think it means like you get say 50 coins or something for a T1 ad. But yeah, for a T4, you may get, say, 80. If that makes any sense. The higher, the more. General, many end game cash values have increased, the same as above. I just said that. Old Gotham Subway, the penguin now chatters in his own voice. So basically, he never shuts up in the army. Um, players automatically warp to the nearest rally point when the server detects you're stuck or can't move out of an object. Now I am happy about this but I don't know how many times I've been flying or running through the streets la di da di da minding my own business when all of a sudden I'm under the map. And that annoys me. Or I've run through a building and I'm stuck in the building and it's like dude I hate you so much. What? Why? Just let me out. And then you've already used your warp to rally point and you're like, I'm stuck. I've got to wait five minutes. But there's nothing about the timer there, so it could still take about five minutes to warp you anyway. I don't think it's going to be an instantaneous thing unless it's just a glitch. So, probably going to break the game again. Brilliant. The NPC voiceover and communicator messages should now interact with each other and behave. Alright then. Um, Items located in Gotham, Metropolis, Central City. There's now the DLC 6 home turf base items. So you can start collecting stuff for your base or hideout. Which I suppose is a good thing. At least you can get a head start. Some powers have been changed, but two and two powers from it. Which are gadget status field. The damage over time no longer stacks in controller role. I'd never really use control at all. And for ice, your hibernation, supercharge encasements, the visual effects will now play properly. So, I suppose that's a good thing. I don't think people really care, but some people are kind of picky. <sighs> the UI combat log. Hands of Fate, Wayward Souls, Operations, fixed, a, fixed an attack by Solomon Grundy that was shown incorrectly. So, they fix a little attack. They fix the smallest things, like nobody's gonna care how stupid an attack may look. But, oh well. Um, general. Floating tooltips are now docked over the player's avatar when using mouse and keyboard. So, I think that's a PC update. Right, um, your items in the currency tab can now be selected using a gamepad. So, another PC update. Update, I think. Inventory stack counts now get properly removed when swapping slots. I don't know what that means, actually. Okay. 
for visual effects you've got performing sweep shot on a nature or ice character will now play the correct visual effects and watchtower containment facility the security enforces visual effects should now appear correctly on his body. Now one of the main things about this update they've done something with clipping if you're not familiar that's when you cut your attack short and pop a power instead and it kind of either increases the damage or sometimes you get unlucky and it decreases it. But basically they've changed that. It's now the longer you wait to attack like if for instance you're using let's see dual wield and you do tap 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 and then you do the front flip well when you go and do the front flip if you wait right till the end and clip your power in you'll do more damage than you would instantly doing it if that makes any sense so the longer you wait the more damage you get but the thing is they've cut the times between attack and attack end. It's now a shorter period for you to do it. So it's basically you're gambling to see if you can get the right time to get the most damage. Which as a pose is good. But also it could be bad. But anyway, the weapons that will be affected by this are brawling, martial arts, one handed, two handed. So far that's the only ones that have had the big change. And for brawling it says Ground pound, this attack now completes more quickly, decreasing its clipped DPS potential. This does not mean, I repeat, this does not mean it will be weaker. It just depends how you do it. Martial Arts, your elbow drop, this attack now completes more decreasing, blah 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 blah. Spinning punch and smoke bomb. One handed, spin chop. Two handed, big scoop, home run and doom spin. So that's game update 22. But before I finish here, I want to add something. Something I've heard. I've heard that game update 23 is going to be the all awaited fire and ice update. <sighs> Thank fuck for that. After teasing it on our last live stream, teasing the fire, everybody's getting all hyped up, give me the heat. They decided no, it's not coming out now. We're gonna cut it a bit. We're gonna wait. It's already angered finishing tweaks on it. But game update 23, that's your time. Also, tier 5 armor. Now, I don't know if this is official, but they've had a name for the DLC that's going to have it, and normally when they do that, it's not really true. But it could be DLC 8 which will come after DLC 7 which is League of Halls or something but yeah and it's gonna it's said to be some mystical armor something like the ruins of the ancient but obviously it'll be different but like mystical sorceristic armor now I'm not a big fan of all the sorcery armor I mean the ruin of the ancients looks kind of alright but then the other times you just look like a spandex poof so, yeah, but it could be good. I mean, if they make it like the tier 4 armor, I'm not going to lie, I quite like that. And tier 3, some of it was okay, some pieces, and then the others just didn't go. It's like, <sighs> I'm going to try and go one one day, man. But yeah, that's, that's what I've heard personally. If you have any other things you'd like to add in the comments below, what you think of the update, if you think the clipping idea is good or bad, and basically, yeah, are you looking forward to the new changes, or are you quite unhappy about them? Do you think it's going to change the way people play the game, or do you think it's just going to stay the same? Because personally, I don't think it's going to be much of a difference. I think people will just like, snap, pick it up, and that's it. Straight on. If anything, it gives the lower people a chance, because then they're now getting introduced to the fact that clipping is there. If they read this or hear it, clipping is actually there and they know it now. They're like, oh, yeah, so how do I do this? And it will go ask people. But anyway, that's for another topic. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. You know it was. And even if the video is shit, which it most likely is, please do it, because it helps a lot. Like, I don't get money for it, 
but liking that video just puts me out there a bit more and helps me grow a bit, so be very much appreciated. Thanks guys, enjoy. Peace.